So in this challenge, what we want to um, have our program be able to do is we want to give the program two points and have it do a little bit of work and print out to us the equation of the line created by those two points. Um, so we know the two things that we need. We need to find the slope and we need to find the y-intercept. Um, so it's probably, it's probably best whenever you attempt these problems to just do a little bit of work on the front side to make sure that you have uh, all the necessary things. So I just came up with two points that I know will make a, a line and that way I can, I can test them, right? So my two points are going to be 313 and 521. Okay, so I need to find these two values. So I do 21 minus 13 over 5 minus 3, and that's 8 over 2. So our slope should be 4. So that's how we're going to get the, the, the m value. Um, now I need to figure out how we find the b value. Uh, and this strategy, we're going to ask for these as inputs, and we're going to do the calculation, and we should get 4. We're going to check that before we get going. So the M will be the one that's a little bit easier to find, a little bit more straightforward because we're used to solving for M. B is going to be a little bit different. So you may recall from uh, whoever your algebra teacher is, basically what we, what we want to do at that point is we know that we have this, right? Um, we take either one of these two points. I'll just take this one because the numbers are smart. And I'm going to plug them in. So 13 equals 4 times 3 plus B. And I want to solve this thing, right? Um, so really, our B value is equal to 13 minus 4 times 3. Um, so we know that it should be, it should be 1, but I, I want to, um, so, so B equals 1, but the important part of it is right here, um, the closed form, right? Uh, so let's, let's look at some coding um, for this and see how far we can get. So now I've got the first line of code in there. Basically, what we're going to ask the users. We got to figure out a way to get their points um, that they have into the computer. And so what I did is this first part right here is called a variable, right? And I said let the variable x1 be whatever the number. I have to remember it's important. I, I call this thing a number, right? Whatever the number of the input to this question is. So it'll ask them what's the x coordinate of your first point. Um, in our example, they'll say um, 3, right? Uh, and we'll move on. Now, all of our next questions are going to be really similar. So I'm just going to copy and paste this a couple times. Because um, we want this to happen three times, because we're also going to need our, our y one and our x2 and our y2 and then both of these should be second point so now we have those four pieces um, so now we want to do some behind the scenes work um, I'm going to create a new variable called m m you may guess stands for slope um, and basically the way to calculate m is I'm going to tell the, calculate the computer just take that y1 variable, whatever, um, sorry, the y2 variable, subtract it from the y1 variable, and then divide that by the x2 variable minus the um, x1 variable. Um, if you do that, I think we all can agree that you would have the slope. Um, now I want to look at finding the b value. So if you look here, our b value was 13 minus four times three. So I'm just going to write that down here, um, this part right here bigger. The way to find B, we did a little bit of math, and 13 was, if you look at what it was, is it's Y1, right? Minus the slope times um, X1. And that's how we figured out uh, and that's how we figured out our B value. Okay. So I'm going to use this as my way of finding B. So let's take a look at our program. So 
So my B value then So that B value again was uh, I'm going to create a new variable called B and the way that I'm going to tell the computer to get that is I'm going to say just take Y1 um, minus now this is where we got to be careful right um, if I want to do um, M times X1 right some of you guys may say like okay well that that will multiply it right because parentheses imply multiplication not for computer programs um, you have to put a multiplication sign in there um, and yeah, that should calculate our B. So it's always a good idea to um, to just see the individual parts of this, just to make sure that we're um, we're doing this right. So I want to print the message: um, your M should be. I'm gonna leave a blank spot to put that, and your B should be. Um, so the equation of your line must then be y equals kind of got off the off the screen here um, but uh, if you look right so I said okay well, I'm gonna print so our m value should be and I left the spot to drop the m and your b should be and I left the um, spot to drop the b so the equation of your line um, must then be, uh, and then I have this. So I'm going to end the quote, and I'm going to tell them what all those things were. So I have four. I had four spots where I dropped stuff. So I got to keep track of all that. Um, I have one, two, three, um, and one on each side. It should be four. Okay. So the first thing I said so here um, was. The first variable should be m, b, and the equational line is also then m, b. So the first thing I tell is m, second thing variable I want to print is b, and then m, and then b. So let's see if I can run this thing um, and, and get something uh, decent there. Um, I want to close one more parenthesis uh, so it goes all around that. So let's run this thing. Um, and I'm going to run it as a plugin, right? Uh, I'm going to go to. Oh, this doesn't have it on there yet. Uh, so when I was double checking um, to make sure we had all the plugins installed, um, I found a little mistake. So right here on the top, um, before uh, I took that pause, it was like this. So I only closed that first set of parentheses. Um, so you got to close both of them, and you got to do that on on all of them. So now there's there's two sets of parentheses um, everywhere there. So I'm just going to save that real quick. Uh, I'm going to go to plugins, and I'm going to go to um, this one right here. And I always want to run in the Python interactive. So we should know the solution um, to this one already. Let's let's test the one that we um, we've used already. So if you recall. Um, our x coordinate was 3, our y coordinate was 13, that was our first point. Um, our second point was 5, comma, 21, um, and watch what it prints out. So our slope should be 4, and we figured that out, and our b should be 1, awesome, so the equation in line must be 4x plus 1. Um, cool. So you can run this um, with any points though, uh, and it should work as well. So I'm just going to come up with random ones um, like 6 and negative, uh, let's say, let's do 100 um, and, and uh, 100, um, 387. Um, you can see that the computer likes to be very precise um, with their decimal place. Um, we'll learn a little bit later on to tell it how many decimal places we want. Uh, but for now, we'll just revel in our exactness.